Hey guys, so I just finished teaching Creating School this morning and there was a thing that came out that I shared in the class that I wanted to share with you as well. Um, the concept is there's better reasons to ask a question than to get an answer. And so what do I mean by that? Like, So this month in Creating School, playing a growth game, we play a game every month and, and the game centers around a specific question that we ask ourselves every day. Uh, the content of that question is for the school, but doesn't matter. The principle I can still share with you. And the principle, the reason why we're asking ourselves that question every day is to not to find the answer, but it's to orient our attention. So I'll use a different question as an example. One of the common questions that I use a lot in the creating perspective is, how am I creating this? And you might have a situation like uh, that's not working out in your business or in your marriage or just somewhere in your life, your health or whatever, and, and you look at the fact that maybe it's circumstantial. It looks like, oh, that's the circumstances. Like, there's a lot of traffic today. Well, how am I creating this traffic, right? And so you start putting, and the, so the reason to ask that question is not to get the answer about how you're creating the traffic. It's not to get the answer about how I created my wife as upset today. How am I creating my four-year-old as being upset? It's not about the answer. The answer is actually secondary. The primary thing that you're doing with that question is moving yourself from a position of being at effect to circumstances to being at cause in circumstances. The question shifts your attention and that shift in attention puts you in a place of power and agency. And through asking it and contemplating it and actually looking for the act of looking for an answer inside that question cultivates strength and weight in that position. It actually gets you used to being in a place of agency as the creator of your circumstances and moves you out of the habitual place of being a victim to circumstances, right? And so, how am I creating this? I ask all the time, religiously. And that's why I wake up in the morning with an orientation that everything that's happening in my world is being created by me because I've cultivated that orientation and that attention through asking myself the question, how am I creating this over and over and over again? Yes, I've gotten answers. Yes, those answers have helped to inform how I create things, but the primary thing is my attention is that I am the creator because I ask myself the question, how am I creating this? So a reason to ask yourself a question is not so much what a answer is, it's about where does it put you when you ask that? What is your, where does your attention go? Another version of this question is, um, let's see. Um, all right, I'm just going to tell you the question that we're using in Creating School this month because it's great and it's real simple and it hooks into the whole class, which is about using words to create other people's word worlds. We talked to, went back to my roots as a magician and a hypnotist and how I can use language, you can use language to actually create an experience inside another human being. It's class, uh, creating class in June 2020. If you want to join Creating School, you can watch that in the class archive. But anyway, the question that we're asking ourselves every day is what do I love about that person? With any person you're with, whether in mind, in person, on the phone, what do I love about this person? And we're doing that because we're using the information we get to that to form a spell that we're casting on the people through our speaking to create relationships, to create outcomes and marriage, business, everything, right? Um, but there's a value to asking the question. That's not about the insight that you then use in casting of a spell. The value of asking the question, the, you could say the meta value, it's kind of like this, I call it the bonus, the secondary gain, but it's actually the primary value of the question is by asking what do I love about this person that I'm with, I orient myself towards seeing things that I love, which cultivates in me an experience of love because I see things. This morning I was sitting over there on the porch running through the class with my assistant and business manager and BFF, that's her new title, BFF, best friend forever, Kiara, and we were looking at that question and we're like, if you just say what is beautiful, wherever you are and you look around and I looked and I saw this cactus tree over here I don't know if you can see it a little no you can't I'll point to it in a second uh, here see that thing cactus tree I looked up at that and then I was like just using my walk to line you back up here we go boom here we are I looked at that and I was like wow that is beautiful looked around a bunch of stuff then I saw that boom it was beautiful it was there but my question oriented my attention towards that and then it gave me that experience the expansive feeling in my heart of awe and beauty it just saw I saw it as beautiful I wouldn't have if I hadn't asked myself the question not in that moment necessarily and so what do I love about that person the point of the question is because it orients me to look for love and when I see it I feel it and so I get to feel love 
by looking for things that I love. And so it's not like about the answer, it's the orientation. I become a person who's sorting through the world for things they love and I get to live a more loving life. Remember the flag? I've talked about that in my other videos. You can see I'm the happiest guy I know. This is the happy house. That's just what we believe. It's the story we make up about our life. And guess what? It bleeds into the reality of our experience. And so the best reason to ask a question is not to get an answer, but is to shift your attention to create possibility and experience for yourself. So think about what questions could you ask that through asking them they can't not create a new experience and new attention that could then lead to lots of beautiful things in your world. My name is John Patrick Morgan. If you don't already know that, I don't know how that's possible. It's written everywhere around this video. Um, if you would like to be in conversation with me, then I would love you to reach out because us in actual dialogue, not just me talking and you commenting, could create a lot in your life. I don't need that, but I want to make sure that you get that that's possible. I do that privately. I do that in small groups, and I have a thing called Creating School. You can check the links out below uh, where I teach every month uh, a new topic. So anyway, click the links. Subscribe to my emails if you don't have them already. Subscribe to the channel. Hit a comment. Share it with your friends. Thumbs up so many things you could do. Pick one. I love you. I'll talk to you soon.